At this time, I want to turn to Brian Gottschall, the director of our Berks County Department of Emergency Services and our lead on the Berks County COVID-19 leadership team for the Berks County COVID-19 data report. Brian. Good morning, Commissioner. Thank you very much. Yes, June 17th for our weekly data report. Uh, the slide that we've all become most familiar with are cases and testing in orange showing the number of cases. I'm sorry, in orange showing the number of tests on any given day and blue the number of cases smoothed over a seven and 14 day period to take out statistical anomalies. Uh, the great news is, as we've seen over week over week, we see our case count coming down dramatically. One thing I do want to point out on this slide this week, we've been concerned that maybe our case count was coming down because people weren't going and getting tested. They were losing interest uh, in doing the right thing. But I think some really good news that we see here on the right-hand side of the slide is that even though our our testing numbers have leveled off and even gone up a little bit over the past week and a half or so, we still see those case numbers diminishing. So uh, obviously the more testing we're doing, the more of a cross section of the population we're seeing, but we're still seeing those case counts come down. So that's even better news than just the case and test numbers coming down together. Uh, great news from our hospitals, about 50% of where we were just a week ago with respect to the number of people in the hospital, uh, either with COVID or with suspected COVID. Uh, and we, we again, of course, hope to see these numbers continue to go down. Uh, last week, I had not shown this graphic. Instead, I just spoke a little bit about the fact that we were approaching uh, the first seven-day period since March of last year with no COVID-attributed deaths. As that all panned out, we had an 11-day stretch. Unfortunately, that stretch did end with a couple of reported deaths two days in a row for a total of four. Um, but the numbers remain very low. The, the curve remains very flat. And of course, we we know it's not gonna to go to zero and stay there for an extended period of time, but the more of those days we see, the better, of course. With respect to vaccinations, we remain number nine in the Commonwealth, and I don't expect that we're going to see that number change just because population of the county as a whole is such a significant driver in that. Uh, what we're very much more interested in looking at is the per capita numbers. You know, when, when population is controlled for, how are we doing? And while we remain 33rd uh, per capita, we have advanced up to 26th with at least one dose as of last Friday, which is the most recent state data available for that number. So small gains as far as uh, where we are as a county for people who have at least one dose on board. Taking a look at our thermometers, uh, this is again based on CDC data, and this is current as of yesterday afternoon. Pennsylvania is at about 58%, uh, looking for that 70% of the population over 18 goal. Berks County is at about 51%, looking for that same goal to do our part. And when we drill into that a little bit and throw some uh, state data into the mix to try to understand it a little bit better, what we see is that we are at about 58.7% of the Berks County population with at least one dose on board. So another way of saying that, if, just the, if we didn't do any more first doses and we just had the people that have started the process, we would end up at about 59% of the population. So what we really need is about 37,000 new residents over the age of 18 to step up and uh, say that they're interested in being vaccinated against COVID-19 to help us make that 70% goal that has been set forth by state and federal authorities. And of course, the opportunity to do that is by going to our doyourpartberks.com webpage where you can find information with respect to local providers offering COVID vaccine. Although we, of course, can't get into that level of detail on the Do Your Part Berks page, uh, vaccine is becoming commonly available at your primary healthcare provider. So if you're not comfortable going to a clinic or someplace where you don't normally go, you certainly can reach out to your doctor and inquire with them whether they're offering COVID vaccine at their offices now because many are. And lastly, of course, if you don't have access to a computer or don't prefer to do things that way, our 888 number is on the screen and you can reach out to the Co-County Wellness Managed Call Center where you can speak to somebody live who will help you uh, make the necessary uh, appointments or do whatever you need to do to help you get COVID vaccine. And as always, we are accepting walk-ins at the Muhlenberg Clinic next to Walmart at the clinic that is managed by BCHC and the county. 
So with that, I think I'm going to turn it over to Commissioner Barnhart to give an update on that clinic and the other COVID matters. Thank you, Brian, and thank you, Commissioner Leibach and everyone else that has joined us today. Uh, I'd like at this point to put up the screen showing the Berks Cares Vaccine Center hours uh, for the balance of the month of June. And as everyone should be made aware this week and next week, we're doing a real media blitz uh, to recognize that the center will be closing July 31st. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody who wants to start a vaccine gets started uh, this week or next week with a Pfizer or Moderna since they're 21 and 28 days spread for the second vaccine. And also Johnson & Johnson is available. So uh, pay attention to the advertising. Uh, get your appointment through Co County Wellness. We do also encourage an appointment, but you certainly can drop in if you'd like to. Still providing free bus service on routes one and three and paratransit services uh, to and from the vaccine center. So let's get that 37,000 37, number down to zero uh, before the end of July here in Berks County. Let's uh, flood the vaccine center with first time as well as second dose people. We want to make sure that we're closing this to a phased process where no one is going to be receiving the first vaccine and have to scurry around somewhere else in the community to find that second vaccine. That's why we're emphasizing this week and next week are the prime weeks at the Berks Cares Vaccine Center to receive your first shot of either Pfizer or Moderna or your one-stop shop Johnson & Johnson. Uh, under the Co County Wellness banner, uh, I think this is a historical low. We've had 88 new contacts last week. 70.3% uh, of those folks have been contacted and reached. Our total to date since uh, we probably hit our anniversary date, uh, starting with Co County Wellness, 15,738 contacts since June of last year. And again, another record low. Thank you, Berks County. Only five line lists. Are, have been presented from June 9th to June 16th. So uh, definitely things are trending in a positive direction, but please keep it up. Uh, get your vaccine appointments, get out there and get your vaccines because everyone's itching to get back to better than normal in the coming weeks. So thank you and I'll turn this back over to Commissioner Leinbach. Thank you.